Is that a lot of parts? Is that a lot of parts, Lyle? Yeah. Welcome back to the As Yet Undecided podcast with your conflicted hosts, Mike and Sophie. I did not realise we were recording. <laughs> you should have warned me when you press the record button. I'm sorry. I'm s- we're going to give the audience a little bit of the old uh, surprise treatment. <laughs> now, first things first, I need to do a Sophie's Corrections, which is unique because... I technically have not made that mistake yet, but I spelt confefe wrong. Yes, you did. I spelt confefe wrong in the show notes. Yes, you did, and I noticed it straight away. Yes. <laughs> Firstly, um, we have, oh, well, I have been frantic over the last hour trying to do my two assignments. Yeah. Um, Which means this will be a short podcast because Mike has to hand it in as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. But how is your week going, Sophie? Frantic as well, um, just mainly stressed from exams. Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. Well, I haven't started, but it's all the studying's making me freaked out because I just realised how high the university actually is. Really? Yeah, it's difficult. I, I, didn't, I didn't know that university was so hard. It is so hard, isn't it? Well, considering you think you're about to fail. Oh, of course. But compared to the high school days... Of course. Yeah. It is quite difficult. Now, do you, um, we'll, we'll start on the, on the confefe. Yes. We have a few questions in regards to that. Um, t- today is a Trump theme. <laughs> <laughs> because we have to do him sooner or later. I know we're not supposed to be, I know it's not supposed to be a political podcast, <laughs> but we're here to not talk about policies, but rather what makes a Trump now, f- firstly, um, well, I'm, I'm going to say no, Sophie. Yes. We're going to talk about the latest news. Confefe? No, in regards to um, US not ratifying the Paris Agreement. Oh, yeah, because, you know, Trump only wants to watch the world burn, literally. Yeah, but it's all about their money. Yeah. First you get the money, <laughs> then you get the power, then you get the women. So, basically, he wants US out of the Paris Agreement so he can, he can make more money out of his... Coal interests, is yes. that right? Yes, or as I like to call them, Trump face. Hmm. Well, <laughs> well, I th- well, I suppose he is trying to compensate for something. Yes, for his tiny hands. Yes, you know what they say about people with ti- people with tiny hands. Small gloves. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> small small feet. Yes, I would actually like to know his shoe size. Is it is it six? Uh, I'll say it's about it's a four. It's a four. In fact, his feet might be considered considered sexy during nineteenth century China. Yes. Yes, if you know that reference. Yes, and during that reference in New Zealand, yeah, there's a bit of a war going on. Bit of a war. Which war? The New Zealand land wars. No, it's not just the land wars. They call it the New Zealand Wars because it's not just about land. Sometimes it's just, you know, a war against assholery or or war against British rule. Well, it went on for seven decades. Yeah, no, right. I mean, <laughs> we don't talk about the war because it happened for so long. People just forgot it was a war. Yeah, yeah. People thought that it was only went for two decades and it was like, nope. Nope. <laughs> anyway, back to the Paris Agreement. So Trump is trying to increase his wealth. Why is that? Because when he's so wealthy, is it because he's actually not that wealthy at all? Or is it because he's just damn greedy? Yeah. It, is he greedy? Yeah. Or is he broke? No, it's... No, uh, it, well, I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, well, um, as you decided on that. Yeah, it's it's more that he... he I, I believe yeah. that he would have some liquidity issues. Yeah. Is he asset-rich, cash-poor? Yeah. Okay. Because, uh, well... Considering he won't release his tax returns, I'm a little bit sceptical about how wealthy he is. Yeah, and and everyone's like that. Yes. So, maybe, so, I'm a Donald Trump, so you think that Donald Trump's doing this is because he wants more cash? Well, yeah, considering that, you know, the whole blind trust issue. Yeah? Yeah. And And, like, any sort of comedic news presenter will tell you. Yeah. Don't give anything to Eric. True. In fact, the blind trust has more sight than you. Yes. Fair call. And, f- you know, for that's those... How, that's how unblind the trust <laughs> is. Okay. D- d- just 
because because I actually have some numbers. Yeah. To tell people how blind I am. Yeah. I am ninety nine percent blind, in my right eye. You and mean your shut eye? My shut eye. Yeah. Well, go for the nine eye. You go for the shut eye. <laughs> um, and I'm without my contact. Yeah. I am eighty four percent blind in the left eye. With contacts. With contacts, it's about forty percent. You have quarter sight. Qu- quarter sight. Yep. A fifth sight. Yep. <laughs> So your thirty percent sight is with a contact. Yeah, I see. Cool. Yeah, that's. But it's mind you, a blind trust shouldn't be <laughs> that sighted, and yet the the blind trust can see better than you. Yes. That's sad, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it, it, there's a there, there's a few foresight issues on that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, secondly, con confefe. Now, now. Okay, there's a few things we need to discuss. Yes. How to say it? No, ha- how to spell it first. No, Donald Trump's al- already um, confirmed how to spell it. Yes. It's just that I cannot be bothered. Yes, it is because Sophie put it on there as C-O-N-F-E-F-E, and it actually is spelled C-O-V-F-E-F-E. So what's Corfefe about? What does it mean? He, he spelt coverage that badly. Because of his small hands. Yes. His, small, his hands were so small he can't write the word coverage. Yeah, not only did he actually spell, spell it wrong completely. Yeah. He actually put in as few characters as possible. He got the E's right. Yeah. <laughs> you have to give him credit. He got, the, he got that right. But he got the rage part completely wrong. You know, no, he got no. He he didn't want to be all raggy about it because he's not a rag to riches story. No, he's a riches to riches. Yeah, riches to riches. Yeah. Yeah, it's like if Richie Rich was evil. Yeah. <laughs> Psychopathic Richie Rich. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Uh, yeah. There's going to be a movie, and Macaulay Culkin is is going to play him. Oh. But first things first, Macaulay Culkin has to shave his head, right? Yes. Yes. You see, he, he needs a haircut. He needs a haircut, then he needs a wear wig. You see, and he needs to chop off his fingers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I just can't believe that someone would actually spell... Coverage. Coverage. But Donald Trump is not um, confirming it. He said that it meant something else. No, no, no it was purely uh, coverage. Coverage, coverage. In, in context of the conversation... It was coverage. It was coverage. But, um... Some people have put memes on the internet saying that Kofefe means like I resign in Russian. <laughs> or um, the P tape was real. <laughs> in fact, um, New Zealand happened to be a really good time to be catching that, uh, that coverage because by the time it hit, it was about 6 o'clock, right? Yeah. In the evening. Which means you have about six hours of watching people trying to one-up each other before they went to bed in America. Yeah. And then, uh, you can then watch the Europeans do it. Then they go to bed. And that's, um, all because, and that's all just before you go to bed in New Zealand. Yes. Yeah. So we caught it at a really good time. Caught it at a really good time. Yeah. No, wait a minute. No. I got my time zones wrong. Yes, you did. By the time the Europeans got it, it was the morning for them. Yeah. And it was the evening for us. But we had like six hours of coffee coverage in New Zealand. <laughs> How do you say it? I don't even know how to spell it. Coffee. Coffee. Like coffee. Coffee. Yeah. Like the media coffee. Yeah. It's like coffee with a V in it. Yeah. <laughs> and scrambled. He, he would like a scrambled coffee. Yeah. Without the V. Yes. And you can, in, in a New Zealand context, that actually would make a lot of sense. How? Decaf. True. <laughs> <laughs> So what other things can cook feather mean? Um, you, you you can name your pet dog that. Oh, true. <laughs> Come on, Kefefe. <laughs> That's so cute. Like you can name your pomelarian. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, have you seen the picture, Photoshop picture of um, Donald Trump touching Vladimir Putin's nipples and the word Kefefe underneath it? <laughs> no, I haven't. And why would you? 
Can we have to buy eye bleach for you, Sophie? No. <laughs> Is it really that disgusting? Yeah, but, but considering that you are a pure-minded person... No, to, I'm to, not, to, to, see a, to see a male's nipples... I'm like, I'm not as pure as I think I am. I'm going to show you the picture, and I'm, and I'm going to link it to other people. Okay. And the podcast. Yeah, it's going to be in the show notes. Well, yeah, so let's see. Okay, Amanda Edmonton. Yeah, okay, so Amanda... <laughs> there we go. Oh, great, oops. Oops. So she did this one a few tweets ago last night, so I'll... Well, no, I, actually, I think I liked it. You think he liked it? Yeah. You you like Vladimir Putin's nipples. <laughs> yes, I uh, liked it. Because <laughs> <coughs> they <laughs> you the toilet. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. Well, that, that means it's a perfume ad. Yeah, it's a, it's a perfume ad. <laughs> yeah, it's like Calvin Klein. Yeah, but it's featuring... Two semi naked men. Yes. Just like any other Calvin Klein commercial. Oh goodness. Confiffy by Calvin Klein. Yeah. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'll see yeah, well remember no so probably this picture's probably not safe for work, so don't show it to your colleagues. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> Talking about Kofefe, um, what do you think Twitter etiquette is? Like what are the rules? Like when can you tweet, when can you not tweet? What can you tweet? It's, well, 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 you have the premises with a few things. Sophie. Yeah? Do you have a Twitter? I do have a Twitter. I just showed you a Twitter picture. <laughs> okay. But, but even though, it's kind of funny that, we, like, we talk about our handles. Yeah? And yet we're not, tw- we're not tw- Twitter friends. No, I'm, I'm a follower. I don't tweet. I just Oh, follow. I tweet. Yeah, such as? All the stuff that I don't say on Facebook. You tweet. I tweet. How many times a day do you tweet? <laughs> At two. I might follow you. Okay. Okay. No, don't don't bother t- following me because I don't tweet anything. No. <laughs> so okay, because Twitter etiquette's quite a big list. Why don't Why don't we just make it a little bit easier and <coughs> list out the things Donald Trump is doing wrong? Oh wait a minute, that might still take a day and <laughs> age. <laughs> no, no, no. We, we should actually start with that. With what? Donald Trump is doing right. Let, let's okay. And, and that would be un, under 140 characters. Okay, the only no, you can't do that because if, even if you go over 140 characters, Twitter will actually just stop you. Yeah. Yeah. So I was about to do the cricket, cricket, cricket. <laughs> Can you please do that sound bite in the edits? Like, uh, what's uh, what is Donald Trump doing right? <laughs> cricket, cricket, cricket. Yes, I can do that. Yeah, yeah I can do it. I'll, we'll, we'll do that in post. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, Mike, keep that in mind. Now, back to the podcast. Yes. Okay, so now let's list the things that, my, that Donald Trump is doing wrong on Twitter. Let's see if we have the time. We only have an hour. Well, yeah, we don't have the time. Okay. We, li- we literally don't have the time. Okay, according to you, what's, what's the three biggest rules Donald Trump breaks when he's tweeting? He spells incorrectly. Yeah. He... He uses a, an emotion at the end of it. Yeah. Um, and he uses the wrong hashtags. Okay, wrong hashtags. I get it because it makes a tweet misleading. But a lot of people on Twitter misspell by mistake or deliberately. Why can't Donald Trump do it? Or would you rather that people actually spelt all their words correctly on Twitter? No, well, well, well you know... It's about what you're trying to convey in your tweet. You okay. can you, you can abbreviate it. Yeah. And people will get it. Right. But when you're saying a word, kofefe. You kofefe. <laughs> what? So, but, so when misspellings cause confusion, that's a definite big no. Yeah. It's it's like you can write C O V. Yeah. And people would understand. You're either talking about something that starts with C O V. True. It could be covert. It could be coverage. Yeah. But hey, Sean Spicer can do something. Do you think Donald Trump is actually planning his military battles by playing Call of Duty? Is he basing his um, military strategy from of Call, from Call of Duty? Well, one, he's not playing Infinite Warfare, I'll tell you that. Why is that? 
But because it, it's saying that it'll never end. It has to end. I hope he's not playing Infinite Warfare, yeah. Advanced Warfare, sure. Yeah. Modern Warfare, sure. Yeah. World War Two, No. So, Donald Trump... Do you think Donald Trump is actually basing his military strategy off a game? At least. Well, it could be World of Tanks. Mm. <laughs> or Worms of War or something, rather? Oh, oh, yes. I love those worm games. That's great. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's like attack Afghanistan with a sheep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, mind you, sheep bombs are rather effective in um, Black uh, Four Lions. Do you know the film Four Lions? Yeah, yeah, but it's one of the best weapons in worms. Yeah. Yeah. So sheep are better weapons than worms. Yeah, or, or the um, holy grenade bomb. That's pretty that sweet. How does that work? It's just the the biggest grenade possible. I thought you were talking about arming Pope Francis. <laughs> No, I'm still talking about worms here. So now, back to, back to Donald Trump's Twitters. Yes. So he's not supposed to confuse people. Yes. And, okay, what was the second... Why can't he use emojis at the back? No, 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 because no, he's... No, no, what I was meaning was, yeah. is that he's not using the emo, an emoji, but he's using an emotion at the end of it, like sad... Mad. Ah, the word emotions. Yeah, the word emotions. At the end of his tweet. I see. Yeah. And that's bad because? It, it's unnecessary. Okay. It's completely unnecessary for a, tw- for a Twitter. So you could just, you know, just say the words and you can put an, put an emoji. That'll be fine, right? No, no, well, you don't even need an emoji for it. Oh, really? So people can people can just get the tone of your tweet by the words itself? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's it's just like, oh well, I know that you don't understand it that much because I can't get any emotion from any of your texts or any of your messages. You can't get the, <laughs> what, 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 so when you're reading my texts and things like that, it's like a complete blank slate. Yeah. What? That's pretty much how I react. How? <laughs> but because. Because you have two speeds. Yeah. Right? You have normal talk and you've got blunt just talk. Yeah. That's your only two speeds. So when I do normal talk, can you decipher my emotions? No, 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 because what I'm saying is that when you have normal talk, you don't have any emotions. And when I'm doing blunt talk... It's, I know that it's always exaggerated. <laughs> what? Yeah. So, so it's like I'm saying it with a neutral face the whole time. Yeah. How is it? So, so like, really? No, no, like every time I get a blunt message from Sophie. Yeah. It's like it's like you're getting those drunk ticks in the middle of the night. It's like I love you. Such as. It's just like, Mike, get it together. <laughs> so what's my favorite? T- what's the, what's your favorite text from me? I don't know. So what's a good? Example of the type of text I send. Stop it. Really? Yeah. It's like, stop it, Mike. Stop being depressed. I don't say that, do I? <laughs> oh, but no, well, well, oh, it's like what you said after the podcast on last week. Yeah? I was like, I was on high spirits. So I was like, yes. Carry on my way, go, oh, you should go to the gym. <laughs> ah, I was just getting right. <laughs> And then you completely nullify it. And just say, Mike, go to the gym. I was angry at you for days after that. <laughs> I know you didn't mean it. But I'm just like, can I catch a break, please? That's why I don't have friends. <laughs> I was like, I was in a good mood. I was in good spirits. And then, oh, Mike, you should go to the gym. I oh, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you should have told me, honestly. I'm just, I'm still trying to work out how to be a good friend. And I'm like, ah! Why didn't you tell me? Because I wasn't going to see you for the whole weekend. So you should I'm have like, texted me or man. something. I'm like, man. You should have texted me saying that you shouldn't have, you shouldn't have told me. You yeah, but you just said it anyway. It's not going to change anything. Oh, I'm still trying to learn. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, ah. Uh. 
Um, do you forgive me? I have to. I've got no choice. Why is that? Oh. But, but you're a generally nice person. Yeah. But other than that... <laughs> I sometimes can say the meanest of things by mistake. Yeah. Oops. So, can we just talk about one more thing, actually? Okay. Um, can we please go back to the show notes? There is no other show notes. That was it. How about electric cars? There was no electric cars in it. In the script. We can talk about electric cars. Yeah. Oh, come on. Do go back to the show. Oh, you're not going back to the show notes, are you? What is the first thing? Are, are we, we the last... Are we the last generation... Oh, yeah. That's quite electric cars. Not um, quite electric cars, okay? Sorry. You I'll, say electric cars. Sorry, it's going to be part of it. It must be petrol. Okay. <laughs> Do you think it, do you think we keep do you think we are the last generation? Well, no, no. I am the last generation because you're a generation above me. Do you think I will be the last generation to own and drive cars on a mass scale? In New Zealand, no. Okay. In New Zealand, no. That's in which countries will it be? Your stereotypical westernized countries. Okay, like America. Yeah. But it's New Zealand. You can't do that because we're too slow. No, it was one more remote. Yeah. It's like, it's like how slow our internet is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So when do you think um, New Zealand will finally abandon petrol cars? Like how many years after the rest of the world? Um, I know it's going to be quicker than some other countries. Yeah. Um, because we're pretty proactive in regards to the environment. Yeah. Um, but there's only one problem. What? Price. Yeah. So it's going to be harder for us to abandon electric cars. Yeah, so I would say um, when, uh, when... No, abandon petrol cars, I mean. Yeah. So it's going to be harder for us to abandon petrol cars than other countries. Because I know electric cars exist now. Yeah. But when you get a very popular electric car model... Tesla, yeah. No, no, no. No, no. no, no. Tesla's way too expensive. Oh, yeah? Like, like, like if, if you get a Honda or a Toyota... Yeah. Make an electric, cheap electric car. Yeah. And it's popular. Yeah. 20 years from that. Right. Okay. This. So, when do you think, um, well, you know with those electric cars, quite a lot of them have self-driving technologies now. Yes. When do you think, uh, will be, when do you think the last generation, oh no, which generation do you think will be the last to actually learn how to drive en masse? Oh. Now... You know, like, how we phased out horses. None of us can horse ride anymore. Um, Whereas if we go to 100 years ago, pr- pretty much everyone knew how to horse ride because, well, that's your car. No, because you have to think about the implications of it. Yeah? Um, like, what happens if everything screws up? What if you have a huge hack? Yeah. Want to cry on a huge scale, yeah. And, and, well, I can just say three letters. What? EMP. EMP. Yeah. That would be the new terrorist attack in the future. Just destroy all the electronics at the same time. Yeah. Wow. So I would think that any sort of license would still be a huge part of it in this country. Oh, yeah? For how long? Um, 100 years? Oh, yeah? Yeah, and, and I don't... Because, like, people are going on and on about flying cars... Yeah. Flying cars will never happen. It already has happened, actually. Yeah, but... But, it, but it, it's not on a big scale. Yeah, it'll never happen on a big scale. Oh, no, nah, it won't. The only way you'll get flying cars if they were self... Flying cars. Self-flying cars. That's the only way. Because you don't want idiots just flying out of the sky. It's like... Like, I've, I've already mentioned the podcast previously. I might have been in a, an edited part. Yeah. Um, we... Humans can't even drive in four directions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you give you giving drivers another dimension. <laughs> they can't handle it. <laughs> yeah, up, down. <laughs> Instead of that, say forwards and backwards and left and right. Now you have up and down. It's like no. Yeah. yeah. It, it's like trying to trying to play three three D chess when they know only how to play checkers. Oh no. <laughs> 
So we'll take about. So you say that um, electric cars have become mainstream in New Zealand twenty years after the first popular model comes out. Yeah. And we're probably never going to get rid of driver's licenses. Yeah. Okay. Now, Mike, please put in. You know, hey, do you remember last week when we talked about um, population control and how you really, really like that? Put that in. Yeah. I actually really, really liked that discussion last week. Yeah. So put that in, Mike. Why is that? But because because we want to bring up a, a topic that you just brought up. What? And I love talking about this topic. What? I really love talking about this topic. Should there be a process to having a kid? Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, well, the thing is, how are you going to enforce that process? Because sometimes kids just happen. Well, you guys <laughs> know, we humans are designed to get pregnant and to produce progeny because, well, that's how that's how genetics work. Yes. Yeah. That's how evolution works, so. Yeah. I mean, say what you want about our achievements, our successes, and our par- apparent um, superiority to animals, we still are animals. Yes. And society is just a one big giant construct. In fact, what does it mean to even have a good life? What does it mean to be successful? Because if you're if you're a biologist, being successful just basically means have a lot of surviving kids. Or just surviving. Yeah. No, the kids. No, passing on your genes. That's the most important thing. Not just survival. Survival is a mechanism to actually pass on your genes. Um. So what about the genes that you're wearing now? Do you want to pass those on? <laughs> yes, I have to. <laughs> Yes, I have to. Okay. But they'll probably be faded and... Got holes in them. Yes. <laughs> and when it's time to say goodbye to them, it's just going to be all the, all the much harder. Yeah. Cat Stevens, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, so... So, it, well, well since, since we are a sociologist and a lawyer... Yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. If, if, if there were to be paperwork... Yeah. To have a kid. Yeah. What paperwork should there be? To have how, a kid. How are we going to sound like Nazis? Yeah. Because they had paperwork about having a kid as well. To, yeah. To make sure your kid's all Aryan and not Jew or not a black or not so degenerate. Okay. <laughs> One. Okay. Okay. What kind of paperwork though should there be to have a kid? Well, first things first, maybe you should make people sterile bef- and give then grant them the right to Ooh. fertility when they pass Ooh. on. The- oh, you sick person. <laughs> oh, I did not think of that. Yeah, well, because um, if, as long as they're still fertile, um, your the number of kids oh. you have is partially out of your control. Or, wow. Let's, let's alone... And it won't be under any government mental control. So what you have to do if you're going if you're going to have paperwork for having kids, first things first, you have to you have to sterilize every single child and human oh. until they pass the prerequisite conditions. So that two, means two words, Sophie. What? Mind blown. Mind blown. Oh, this is good. Oh. I just thought of that. It's not one. I, is that why people say I'm, I'll make a good lawyer? Yeah! Mind blown! Oh! Okay, now that you steril. Okay, I'm not too sure what will be a good way to sterilize women, though. Sterilizing men, that's easy. All no, you no, do no. is cut their. No, 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 no. No, yeah? no, sterilizing women would be easy. How? But no, no. Sterilizing women will be easy, but reversing the sterilization, that's hard. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's so, the hard bit. You, so you need to find a way that actually... Well, that's why I said sterilizing men might be e- might be better, because if you cut the tubes, you still have a ch- you, you still have a pretty good chance of getting the tubes back. Yeah. Whereas if you sterilize women, that's kind of permanent. Yeah. Oh. You, and if you take the pills, you have to remember to take the pills, and that's like, that's not good. That's That, that won't be easy. Oh. What? Mine is blown here. My mind is blown. I did not think of this. Okay. Once, okay, so once you've successfully found a way of sterilizing both men and women that's, that's easily reversible, you can then have something along the lines of, you need, you need to pass these criteria first, but, and it's probably fill in paperwork, before we give you fertility back and you can have kids. Yeah. Oh, uh, 
my, my mind is going nuts at the moment. You may get inflated my ego up to the point that it might explode and all like that. Yeah. Shut up, please. Yeah. Please stop saying your mind is blown. Time released chemotherapy. Time released chemotherapy, but that will that that's still that has a lot of side effects, though. I know. Yeah, that's probably. But, not a good but idea. it is the only way yeah. that I can think right now where you can affect the reproduction system. Yeah. And it'll go back to normal. Time, but I thought chemotherapy affects your fertility in the long run as well. No. Okay. It takes six months. Six months. Yeah. But from, from from the doses that I used to take, yeah, it took six months for your sperm to come back. Yeah. Okay. Or you can move the you can move the ovaries and put them back in. All that. Um, yeah. But because uh, like like I'm thinking like doing it from vaccinations. What? Putting putting the drug in into vaccinations. Yeah. Like like you do your five week your six month vaccinations when you're a kid. Yeah. In order to sterilize to sterilize. Yeah. And some and they put another injection to actually get you fertile again. Yeah. Now now there, there is there is another issue. Mm. Um. Does does that mean if when people are visiting the country, yeah, do they have to inject themselves as well? Like they have no rights of reproduction while they're still in the country. Yeah. Or because they're citizens of another country, you probably don't need to do anything with with them because you don't need to pay for their kids. Oh. Like they can, like their kids can be non-entities, or they could just be you know another tourist, and the government has no dealings with them. You are a lawyer. Really? Thanks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. L- 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 like, t- t- take for an example. Mm. How old are you, Sophie? I'm 19. 19. Let's just say that you just came from China now. Yeah. And you got yourself pregnant. Yeah. And you had the kid... Yeah. In this country. Yes. Because what? the kid is was not born from a certified adult, that means that the kid is a foreigner. Yes. Yeah. 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 That's how how that's how it could work with foreign people because the foreign people don't have to don't necessarily have to follow all the rules yeah. of a country. Yeah. Now how do you feel about that, Sophie? I hope no one gets any ideas from this, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I would, I, I would think that if, if they if they propose this in Parliament, I'll petition so hard to remove it because <laughs> it's a ter- it's a it's a mind game, and I and it's a terrible idea at the same time. It's basically Hitler. <laughs> it's something that Hitler would think up of. <laughs> oh God! Okay. Oh, uh, just for shits and giggles. Yeah. Just for sh- Let's call this Bill Sophie's Choice. Yeah. <laughs> or Brave New World. Oh. <laughs> you have to put. You have to do something. This is a little bit more substantial for the the tele- telephone for you swearing this time. Yeah, I know. But, but it's just like Sophie's Choice. That's brilliant. <laughs> so what? So what type of checks would people have to go through before they can they're allowed to become pregnant? Oh. Oh, 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 that's good. Um, Actually, do you know the origins of the F word? It's German. Yeah? To strike. To strike. Yeah. Okay, that's one of them. There was an urban legend floating around on the internet that stood for fornication under the consent of the king. Urban maybe, legend. Maybe. Urban legend. Um, ooh. Oh, this is, oh. What would you have on the form? I, like, do you have to... Do, well, so do you have to determine things on income basis? Do you have to make sure that the per- the person's not a psychopath, nor nor a narcissist, or a criminal? Well, just because you're a criminal doesn't necessarily mean you make a bad parent. I know, but still. 
what if yeah so for, what if you shoplifted in your youth because you were starving Sh- that doesn't necessarily make you a bad person but it can be construed that way yeah so that means that it'll be that form would be racist yeah and please remember to delete the pope bit <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I'll just leave that bit in there. I'm just go, Mike, delete the Pope bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> please do. Please, because honestly, I kind of regret saying that now. <laughs> Mike, delete the Pope bit. That is Sophie's quote of the week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that on Facebook, even. Yeah. Anyway, um, this has been the no, 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 Yeah, put it on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mike can put that on Twitter. <laughs> Hashtag <a> faith. <laughs> Okay, Mike, why do we have to go so early? Uh, because I've got to handle my assignment. This has been the As You Undecided podcast with Mike and Sophie. We have to leave early because Mike has an assignment to hand in. Yeah. So, um, if you wish to contact Mike and give him some love and support, which he desperately needs, you can contact him on at the Manus on many platforms. T-H-E-M-A-R-N-U-S. Yay! You're leaving me hanging, Sophie. It's your turn to do my handles. And, 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 and you can contact Sophie's love handles on Sophie9709, except for Instagram. Because you'll get another Sophie's love handles. Also, if you want to contact <laughs> this podcast directly, you know, fan mail. We need fan mail, people. Um, you can contact us at asyourundersidepodcast at gmail.com. Please make it safe for work. Um, you, you, you can also... Um, Send a self address envelope yeah. to As Yet Undecided Podcast, P.O. Box 9599 Simon Street, Auckland. Is that your post office? No. <laughs> I was making a fake address. Please. <laughs> Please don't send it then. Okay, that's end. End? Yeah, end. End? End. E-N-D? E-N-D, E-N-D yes. E-M-P. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do 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 How long was that? Thirty minutes. Oh my goodness, that. Okay, delete the pipe bit, please. Delete the.